if you are looking for a silver bullet or a quick tip that is gonna help you land a large freelance client, and by large, I mean 10K or more a month, this video is not for you. This video is my story on how I leveraged an existing business relationship into a 12K a month contract with an additional $1,500 a day bonus for additional services that I provided. This video, I will be breaking down the story and going through tips that you can take away into your own freelance career to help you land these large contracts. I will also talk about the different services that I provided and what went into that relationship and that contract with them. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Brandy Morgan. We talk about all things freelance, working remote, personal branding, business, and of course creating life that you want. If you want to be part of this freelance family, make sure to hit that subscribe button now. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you get through this and you like the video, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know how you're feeling about that. It helps me create my content better for you. I'm also curious if you are here because of the elusive thumbnail that was created or the title or what actually brought you to click on this video and watch. I'm curious, I'm always trying to make my content better for you. So the more feedback, the more comments I get, that really does help me and I appreciate it. All right, let's get into this video, which is something I've alluded to in the past. I will not be mentioning this company's name, but I will be going into as many details as I can release about this particular relationship. If you're new here or you don't know me, don't follow me on Instagram, my background, I started off in software development. I worked at an agency, mostly doing JavaScript, PHP, Vue.js, and then I went into working at a startup where I only did React and then primarily only did React Native development for them. While I was doing this, I was creating content about being a female software developer. I was on social media, just kind of learning the ins and outs of the whole world of social media and creating content. I was working with particular technologies that I really, really liked, and I really wanted to represent them in the content that I was creating. One of these technologies ended up having a event and I actually nominated myself and one other person for this one particular award so we could get free tickets. It was essentially a way to get women to the conference. If you are in the tech space, several years ago, I feel like it's getting better, but several, several years ago, not to date myself, but primarily these tech conferences, big tech events, were really male dominated. And so a lot of companies would give free tickets to women so they would come to the event. So me and my mentor actually were able to go to this event, which was out of state. It was honestly, it was epic. It was a great experience because I got to be with my mentor and I also got to go to this epic conference where we got to hear amazing talks. And that conference, I ended up connecting with people at this particular company that were at the conference. I made sure that they knew who I was um, right away when I met them, I sent them an email, I started following all of them on social, engaging with them. The key thing when you're meeting people at conferences is building a relationship because there are thousands of people at tech conference, like for real, if you've never been to one, you should go, they're awesome. But there's so many people at them, so you need to make sure that you engage with them right away so they remember who you are and they remember your face with your name and what it is that you do. So right away I connected with these people, LinkedIn, Twitter, those were kind of the big ones. I started liking and commenting on their tweets all throughout the conference, just making sure I was always engaging with them. Later down the road, I ended up getting invited to speak at one of their conferences for their group of developers talking actually about being a developer on social media and creating content about being a developer. And I went, I gave a talk, I ended up meeting some other people at the company and I was just blunt with them. I said, hey, this is what I do, these are my services if you wanna hire me. And in that time, it was mostly creating content and social media in the tech space, whether that was video content, blog content, tweet, social media posts, whatever it was, content in the tech space. That's as detailed as I'm going to be. <laughs> yeah, if you wanna have a further conversation about the specifics, let me know in the comments. 
But anyways, I was very blunt and said, this is what I do, this is what I offer. Do you need these services? And they were like, yeah, we actually do. Like that honestly does not happen, which is why I said this is not a silver bullet, but you yourself can do this when you're at conferences by A, meeting other people, linking in with them, following them on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever platform it is these days, and engaging with them in a meaningful way so they remember you. And then when you see them again at another conference, potentially a conference that they're hosting, go back up to them, talk to them, engage with them, ask them something that you saw on their Twitter or any other social profile. Have some sort of authentic connection and a way of point of communication with them to be more engaging with them and also to show that you actually care what they post on social media or what they tweeted last week. It's not that hard to pick up Twitter and to go onto somebody's profile and see some tweets from a few weeks ago and then bring that up in a conversation. It shows them that you care about them because if somebody did that to me, I would love it. People are the same way. People want to feel important. So make them feel important. And then nextly, let them know that you're offering whatever services it is. For them, we were always talking about content social media um, because it was on the developer advocacy side of things. So that then led to them saying, yeah, actually we would love that. We would definitely need you. And literally three days later, I had a contract signed with this company. That contract was for a much smaller amount. What happened was, was as I was doing work for this one particular team at the company, it morphed into other teams needing these services. Therefore, the contract got bigger. So it started small and then it grew bigger. And then what happened was they wanted myself at these events doing social, doing engagement, doing influencer management. And that turned into this other smaller contract, which was $1,500 a day for those services while I was at the event with them. So recap of what you can do. And once again, I said this took many years to build this relationship, but it doesn't necessarily have to take that many years because originally I didn't set out to do this. But now that I'm telling you, set out to do this exact thing. Pick a conference that you wanna to go to because conferences are gonna be starting up, I'm assuming later this year or next year. Find some conferences that you wanna to go to, find companies that are gonna be at these conferences, start following them on social, start doing meaningful engagement with people that work at these companies in the area in which you provide services. If you're trying to be a developer advocate, which is on the content side of thing, find developer advocates at this company and start engaging with them. And potentially they could become an advocate for you to working at that company. Next, when you go to these conferences, make sure you have a fully charged phone, make sure you have business cards. I don't care how old school that sounds. Even digital business cards, those are great too. Make sure you have all your social media updated and be ready to engage with people and be ready to connect. And once you do connect with them, send them a DM right away. Something that I like to do is in your notes app of your phone, have a script, have a template that you use and you can copy that and then add a few details about what you guys talked about when you met and then send it off to them. It's that simple. The template that you have in your notes app, it would be something along, it would have like your contact information, you know, your phone number, your email or whatever and that it was a great meeting them. But you would wanna make sure you go at next level and add a special personal detail about a conversation that you had with them at the event. And then lastly, as you get to know them, as you've established that relationship, let them know that you offer X, Y, and Z services and you would love to help them out at their company or maybe their personal stuff that they're doing at their company, especially if they're a developer advocate. Maybe they need help with social media graphics or video editing or content. You really never know until you ask. For me, when I asked them, I did actually did not expect them to say yes. Like, you know, but I just rolled the dice because I knew it's 50-50, yes or no. Or I guess we'll talk later, right? So you really never know who's in need of the services that you offer. So those are the key points to landing or for how I landed a really, really large contract. And especially for me and what I've seen in my career because I've been doing this for over three years now is that relationships are key. I have been able to keep 
my clients for years and years and years because I build relationships with them and I genuinely want to see them win. If you can build relationships with people and build that trust, they're gonna to wanna to work with you and they're gonna to wanna to keep working with you. And then you won't have to have that insecurity and that doubt when you lose a contract or another contract ends, you know that it's gonna be ongoing and it gives you a little bit of peace of mind. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if there's another topic you want me to discuss or if you want more details about this one. And of course, please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down to let me know how you're feeling about this video. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.